much does it really cost to build an F1 car? The price tag is jaw-dropping, reaching millions of dollars. From advanced technology to precision engineering, we'll break down the hefty costs that go into creating the world's fastest racing machines. You might think of an F1 car as a fancy sports car, but the reality is much more complex. An F1 car is a highly specialized machine that has been carefully designed to survive the toughest conditions, high speed, sharp turns, constant pressure, and extreme temperatures. And all of this is done with the ultimate goal of squeezing every ounce of speed and efficiency out of the car. The cost of an F1 car goes way beyond just fancy materials or advanced technology. It's a combination of incredible engineering, hours of testing, and cutting edge tools, all put together to make the car perform at the highest level. So why does an F1 car cost so much? The truth is, these cars are built from top tier materials and technology, not just to look good, but to work under extreme pressure. Every part of the car, from the engine to the suspension, from the tires to the bodywork, is crafted to handle the brutal demands of high-speed racing. The price of these cars is also driven by the research and development that goes into making sure every component performs perfectly. So let's break down the different components that go into an F1 car and understand why they're so expensive. First, let's talk about the chassis and bodywork. The chassis is the backbone of the car the frame that holds everything together. It's made out of carbon fiber, a super lightweight yet incredibly strong material. This helps keep the car as light as possible while still being able to withstand the extreme forces it faces during races. The carbon fiber chassis can cost anywhere from $500,000 to $1.5 million, depending on how advanced the design is. The bodywork, which includes all the parts of the car that cover the chassis, is designed with aerodynamics in mind. The goal is to make the car as fast as possible by reducing drag, the resistance that slows the car down, and increasing downforce, the force that pushes the car down to the track for better grip. Aerodynamic design is a huge part of Formula One racing, and designing the perfect bodywork takes millions of dollars in research and testing. Next, there is the engine, often referred to as the power unit in Formula One. This engine is nothing like what you'd find in your regular car. A modern F1 engine is a turbocharged V6 hybrid system, which produces over 1,000 horsepower. To give you a sense of how powerful that is, think about the fact that these cars are reaching speeds of over 200 miles per hour during races. The power unit must not only be powerful, but also efficient, lasting throughout the entire race without breaking down. The cost of one engine can range from eight to $15 million, depending on the specific design and the technology used. These engines are built to perform under extreme conditions, using special materials that can handle the intense temperatures and pressures that come with racing. The price is high because of the complexity and the sheer amount of work that goes into developing and testing the engines. The transmission and gearbox are also incredibly important. F1 cars need to shift gears rapidly, often in less than a second. That means the gearbox has to be precise, fast, and able to handle the huge amounts of power that come from the engine. These gearboxes are built with lightweight materials like titanium and the process of making them is both complicated and expensive. A single gearbox can cost anywhere from $1.5 million to $3 million, depending on the materials and technology used. Another crucial part of an F1 car is the suspension system, which helps the car maintain control while navigating the track's twists and turns. The suspension is made up of various components that allow the wheels to stay in contact with the track as much as possible, giving the driver better grip and stability. These parts are made from high-tech materials like magnesium alloys and titanium, which are both strong and light. The suspension system itself can cost anywhere from one to three million dollars, depending on how advanced it is. Then there's the braking system, which is vital for safety as well as performance. 
F1 cars need to be able to stop from incredible speeds in a matter of seconds. The brakes are made from carbon-carbon composites, which are designed to be light but incredibly strong and able to withstand the heat generated from braking at high speeds. The braking system can cost anywhere from $500,000 to $1 million for a full set. The brakes are also designed to last throughout the race, which adds to the cost. When you add up all the individual components, you can start to see why an F1 car is so expensive. But the price isn't just about the materials and the parts that go into the car. There is also a huge amount of research and development, or R&D, that goes into making the car as fast and reliable as possible. This includes things like wind tunnel testing, simulations, and on-track testing. Teams spend millions of dollars refining the car's design, often making tiny adjustments to improve aerodynamics or engine efficiency. The development process is continuous, meaning teams are constantly improving their cars throughout the season. All of this R&D requires teams of highly skilled engineers, technicians, and designers, each of whom is compensated for their expertise. It's not just the parts and the R&D that make an F1 car so expensive. It's also the ongoing costs of running a team. F1 teams need to spend millions of dollars every year to keep their operations going. The budget for a top-tier F1 team can range from $200 to $400 million per year. This covers everything from staff salaries to travel expenses to logistics. The salaries of key staff members, like engineers and designers, can be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars each year. And the team must employ many people to keep things running smoothly. In addition to salaries, a lot of money goes into testing and simulation. F1 teams use high-tech simulators that cost millions of dollars, allowing them to test different car configurations and track conditions before ever hitting the racetrack. This helps them get an edge over their competitors by perfecting the car setup before race day. Physical track testing is also important, as teams need to make sure their car performs well under real racing conditions. But testing isn't cheap. Each time a car is tested, there are costs for track rental, transportation, and equipment. Speaking of transportation, logistics is another major expense for an F1 team. Each team has to transport tons of equipment, including cars, spare parts, tools, and even mobile headquarters to each race. This involves multiple trucks, airplanes, and shipping containers meaning they need to spend a lot of money just to get everything to the track. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our latest updates. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments section, and we'll see you guys next time.